New at noon, a driver in the hospital and possibly heading to jail after a wild ride on the west side. Her pickup ended up in the front yard of a home on Guadalupe Street. As Katrina Weber reports, police say she also cut off a path of destruction along the way after what they suspect was a night of drinking. A fence and truck left in need of repairs, but luckily no people were seriously hurt when the pickup plowed toward this home around 8.30 this morning. I just heard the bang and it since it sound real close. I came out and seen another girl like stop traffic, so I was like, what's going on? Zoila Freire was surprised to see the destruction, along with all the fire engines and police cars near her home in the 1900 block of Guadalupe Street. She says she tried to help the driver who seemed disoriented. She's still in there. I opened the back door and I was like, are you okay? And she's all like, yes, I'm okay. Police told us the woman behind the wheel of the Chevy Avalanche could be facing charges as she admitted she had been drinking since around 6 o'clock last night. They say her truck first hit a utility pole, knocking power lines down into the middle of the street, then smashed through the fence. But police suspect she'd been on a path of destruction even before that. But just before the crash, police say they were on their way to a call here on Castroville Road for a red light runner who nearly caused the crash. And they say that driver also was in a white Chevy Avalanche. Police believe it was the same woman involved in both. After taking down the fence, she was taken to a hospital to be checked out. The people who live here were at home at the time, but will have repairs to make when they return. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.